Okay, we got a 2001 Toyota Corolla with a kick down cable issue. If you are shifting from park to drive, park to reverse, reverse to drive, and uh, you're hearing a large clunk as you're shifting gears, it's very possible that you have a kick down cable issue. Mechanic told me that I'd have to replace the cable. The cable uh, could be frayed somewhere inside. It's a cable that leads from the throttle down to the transmission. Oh, uh, Toyota has told me the part's $400. You can get it on eBay for $60 to $100, and then it's a couple hours labor. Um, so I wanted to see if I could find a cheaper fix, and I, uh, I did. I hope this works for you. So, let me, let me show you what we're talking about. Okay, so, here's our engine, and here is our kick-down cable. And our kick-down cable goes through a housing underneath the manifold, and it connects down, connects down here. You'll see uh, that this knob is out here. Um, this should be retracting. This should retract back inside, and as I pull it out, it's, it's not. So that's our, that's our issue there. So, you have to take the manifold cover off. There's two nuts, 10 inch. So, I've already taken the nuts off. Remove that. And I'm going to hand this over to my trusty camera girl, Miss Lou. Lauren's going to help me out here. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to remove the cable from down here. And you see, if you pull the cable out as far as you can, that you're going to be able to bring the cable out like so. Again, as I pull it out, it should be retracting back in, and it's not. You need to remove this nut and loosen it up and take the cable housing out. So I'm using a 9 16th just to remove that and to take it out. The problem I'm finding is that the housing is clipped onto the onto the with the mount to the engine like so when I remove this take it underneath you'll see that the cable is now retracting like it should so wherever the cable is kinking in there that's my issue is when it's held down by this mount it's not retracting and that's what's causing my issue what I'm going to do is I'm going to thread this back under. If you don't, you're not going to be able to get the manifold cover back on. I'm just going to put this back in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the cable down as far as I can. Back here. While I'm doing this, again, test it out to be sure that it's retracting. Got to be sure this is tightened. very important. And again, pull this down, thread it through here, where it should be, okay, and attach it, attach it to the hole underneath here. Okay, lift this up, okay, you'll see it's not quite retracting like it should. So I'm going to have to play around with the housing up here. And you'll see now that it's retracting like it should. Okay, so just get a close in of here, Lou. You're just going to have to leave it unsecured here, but you're going to be putting the manifold cover back on. But as you can see down here, the cable is retracting as it should. The problem is fixed. So I'm going to put the manifold cover back on. I'm not going to bolt it at this point, but I'm just going to show you that even after you put the manifold cover back on, that this is retracting as it should. Okay, if it doesn't, I might have to take the manifold cover off and, uh, and play with it a bit and find a place where it's going to be able to retract without issue. And that, folks, is your quick cheap fix for a kick down cable issue.